Hello, my name's Chris, this is Blue Kraken Gaming, and welcome back to Satisfactory, where if you are enjoying the series, I would ask that you please consider leaving a like, a comment, or a subscription. Any or all help the channel grow, and they help get out in front of other people, so thank you very much to those of you that do that. Now, in our last episode, we were basically prepping for what we're going to be trying to get done this episode, which is getting sorted... Uh, our, uh, what are we up to? No, not supercomputers. It's what you're set up to. The adaptive control units. Trying to set this up. So, power is going to be a problem. It keeps dropping out on me while I'm up here. Just so I can get that done at the moment. Now, we are also going to need the, where is it? Concrete floor. Uh, why is that not? There we go. Right, and then... No. That one, thank you. And we can get these down, because we did actually... Uh, well, I say I did actually. I've now just realised I'm shy on concrete. But I did try and grab all the stuff we would need to lay all this down. But yeah, now I'm sitting here, I'm like, yeah, I'm actually shy on concrete. Oh well, I'll have to try and grab some more then. Right, okay. That's not too bad. That's over here. Now, one of the other things I did actually want to do while I'm going over in this direction is at the moment I was... Or at the moment... You guys were all making enough? Yes? Yes. What is on that bottom run? Oh, is that the versatile frameworks? Yeah, okay, fine. Fine, fine, fine. So, yes, what we're doing is we are getting our magnetic field generators and we're currently putting them in on the same belt down here now I was thinking about that and I was like on the face of it while I was doing it there and then it seemed fine but on reflection now that feels like a bad thing because if one of these blocks up and basically fills then it's going to stop the other one flowing through at all uh, which is why I did want to then separate them. Which isn't too bad. And then we'll bring the other two over as well. Ooh. Okay. Well, that's promising. I was worried we wouldn't be keeping up with the... Uh... Right, what are you short on? First off, frameworks. Yeah. Hang on. How do I have some in my inventory? Fine, we'll just drop those in there. Uh, right, yes, concrete. That was what we were coming over this way for. So, yeah, it's it's definitely getting towards the end. And it's been a... It's actually quite surreal. I haven't... It, it's not quite sunk in that I'm possibly as close to finishing as I actually am. Um, I mean, I'm aware that a fair amount of the uh, structures I've got are just floating platforms. I'm well aware of that. But it is still a case, to my mind, of... Yeah, they're floating platforms. Yeah, they're not the prettiest. But I'm still going to have completed, fundamentally, um, the final elevator part, which is basically as much as Satisfactory gives us at the moment. Now, yes, we've got 1.0 coming out, which is going to have a nice story element to it, uh, which I'm really excited to have a look through and be under no illusions. When 1.0 comes out, I'm going to start again at the beginning, which feels kind of daunting because, you know, this series so far has been over a year in the making. Um, so it does feel quite daunting to go, oh yeah, I'll, I'll just start again. That's, that's going to be what it is. Um, but that is going to be what it is. I'm there is no two ways around it. Right. You need to have... 
space. Yeah, you've got space to get your stuff out. That's fine. Right, then pop you like that. Uh, I was worried about that. Right, if I lock you in there. Right, you're actually fine. Okay, so you're meshing with that. But I can't put another one because the train comes around here. Uh. Well now then. I really don't want to have to shift all of this over a little bit. And I don't have the uh, power slugs to just overclock one of them. Yeah, that's not going to be able to go any tighter either, so I can't cut that corner. Okay. In which case... Mm, yeah, I think... What I'm going to have to do is just extend this platform out again a bit more. Come on. And instead of the neat rows, we're just going to have to have an odd one out the front. Right. Okay. So that is that then done. Uh, right, let's grab the power. So where are we actually going to run this to? So you guys, if you're back for there. So if we do this. We can then feed them along like so. Right, now you guys do actually need four items for this. Yes, you do. No, because that's looking at the wrong thing. But yes, you still need four items. Okay, so we are going to be using all four of these. Lead all that in. Good. Right, okay. So now, cut that pole, and now we bring this one in line. Here. Right, and then, yeah, we can run it back hold up how did you two shift backwards that's going to be a problem right so you're going there you're going right and you're going there Right, okay. I mean, it's tightly packed in there, but that at least now works. Right, okay. And that puts you here. Like that. Okay. Then we can fill these gaps in. Cool. So, the big thing... And the last episode where I asked this hasn't come out yet, so I appreciate that some people may have already answered this, but I'm still going to ask it again. What uh, what do you guys want to see next? What do you want to see out of Satisfactory when all the space elevator parts are done? 
Because that is going to be the question. Like, obviously we'll be back for 1.0, but what do we do between 1.0 and when this wraps up? So, do you guys want to have more satisfactory content? Do you want me to do other factory builders? Do you want me to look at... Well, just fill it with other games, because this is a... And I've, I've mentioned this before. Um, I think I mentioned it in a couple of other episodes, where it's, it's really kind of nice for me, where this isn't the be-all and end-all. Uh, because it then gives me the freedom to do what I want. So, ultimately, I want to be making stuff that you guys want to watch. Be under no illusions on that. But it does give me the freedom to go, well, I don't have to do Satisfactory. I can do, uh, well, basically anything else. So, I tend to play games that I enjoy. Um... Because ultimately I want to enjoy the game for it to come through for you guys. Because if I don't enjoy it, there's no point in me trying to cover it. Because I just won't have the enthusiasm and I won't want to bother with it. Uh, and that was a problem when I did try and cover... Why is that not... I was hitting 9 there. I have no idea why that wasn't uh, splitting. Right, so we're going to need 4 splitters here. On each of them. Uh, yeah, when I tried to do No Man's Sky, it, I just, I tried, and I just wasn't feeling it. So yeah, I just, I, I just had to put it down. Why is my toolbar not working? There we go. I was doing control and shift at the same time and I was doing all those copying and pasting right come on there we go Whoa. that is not where I want you to go Uh, yeah. So, like, one of the things I'd really like to do is I'd like to try and finish Knights of the Old Republic 2. But again, it's... I, I need to know what you guys want to watch. Oh, out of aluminium sheets. Because, yeah, I, there's, there's no point in me trying to record stuff if no one's going to watch it. You are over here. So, do let me know. Uh, I keep getting distracted while I'm trying to build and talk at the same time. Do let me know in the comments down below. What what do you want to see coming up next? Do you want to see a different game? And if so, what one? Uh, I have had someone suggest Horizon Zero Dawn to me, which I've got. Uh, so, we can have a look at that. The, the bit I would say, I, I kind of want it to be a game that will work on the kind of format that I do. I.e., I try and do very limited cuts. Uh, I try and show you guys basically everything as it's happening. And the reason I say that is because I have had uh, a couple of suggestions of really good games. There's no two ways around it. They are good games. Like, the Planet Crafter was one that was suggested. And it's one that I've got. And it, it does look really cool. The problem with Planet Crafter is that it... Um, it does have a fair amount of time where it's just got to whir away on its own. And I don't think... I, I don't feel I've got time to let it whir away on its own. And do it justice while I'm doing that so that's why that one's going to be a bit of a bit of a sticking point but like I say if there's if there's anything else that you feel would work let me know because I want to know what you guys want to see 
right. I'm going to come up there. We'll go to here. To here and in there. Cool. So that's the computers and circuit boards all being filled now. Nice. Okay. And then we need heavy modular frames and the automated wiring to come up. Okay. feel like we're going to need to do a couple of these. Uh, right, okay. Ooh, not what I wanted. Okay, so... If we... Uh, a hole here... Right, let's try and make that line up. Cool, that works. And we can do the same here. Like that. I mean, I'd rather it wouldn't write a sort of angle like that, but... I'd have rather right angled it, but I don't think I'm going to have the ability to do that nice and easily. Right, so, heavy modular frames and the automated wiring. Now, heavy modular frames are over here somewhere. Right, apologies, hopefully that didn't come through, because I definitely hit the mute button. Uh, just a small cough. Right, there's our heavy modular frames. So... Yeah, I think my best bet is going to be to drop down. Uh, right. And then take it under. And then... Can go up like that. Now we want to head over in this kind of direction. Okay, that's fine. Right, and then if we hook on the underside here. Oh no, we can't do that. No, 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 no. We do it from here. Mm, just about. Right, because then we can look on there. And actually if we put it on this one, because the wiring is going to be coming from the other direction. We can put you up there, like so. Cool. So that's then the heavy modular frames now being distributed. Awesome. So now it is just the automated wiring. And the question we're going to have on that is, are we making enough? And the honest answer is, I don't know. I do not know. I'm, I'm pretty confident we're going to have enough banked up. But the automated wiring is all the way over here at the beginning. Um... Yeah, I'm pretty confident we'll have some banked up because it's in this double container over here. But whether we're going to have enough to sustain it, that I do not know. Right, let's try and get you up. Okay, and then we need to run it all the way over here. Look it on the bottom of this one. Just run it in the other direction. Uh, have we got another? Yeah, got another one there. Right, have I got another point I can work with? No. Right. In which case, now we'll strike off on our own and we'll just go round. Voila. Cool. 
So that is now. That should now then be sorting all of that. Yep, we've got adaptive control units being done. Awesome. Okay, so now we've got to deal with our outputs. Because we haven't done that yet. And in theory, we're making 12 of these a minute. So we can wire all this in like so. And hear them all firing up. Right, okay, so that's that sorted. Let's get you coming out over here as well. Okay. Don't even think we've got the first one built yet, but that's fine. Okay. What's going to be interesting here is what we do with the train. Right. And feed you in like that. Right, okay. Then you're also being fed and bring you along like that cool no, it doesn't need its own separate one it can feed in from that side there cool so that is then the 12 adaptive control units being uh, yeah 12 adaptive control units being made a minute now we need to hook these up I'm thinking if we do that we just cut that corner there and feed that into that okay well here come the first batches and then we need to do something with it right okay what is the name of that final piece let's go have a quick look because I need to double check what it's called so I know <clears throat> what it is we need to put together so let's have a look it is the assembly director system and that just needs supercomputers and these okay so if we are looking at the assembly director system there we go so it uses one and a half a minute and 0.75 supercomputers so we're making 12 adaptive control units so 12 divided by 1.5 Eight. Okay, I feel like we did this maths last week and I've already forgotten. Right, so. If we do this. Come on. Come on. Fitly clicking at the moment. Right, okay. So then we need eight assemblers. And I'm missing cable. Alright, let's go get some cable. Apologies there. Right. Assembly directors. There we go. So, yes, we want some cable, which is going to be all the way back down here. So, 
so. It's so close. It is so close. I mean, it's so close in the way that everything is then going to be being produced. It's still going to be a while for it to actually be made enough for us to go, right, we're done. But, I mean, having everything produced is, to my mind, quite a big step. Right, so three... Four, five, six, seven, eight. And then... Actually, do I have an assembler blueprint? Require? No. Doesn't look like I do. Oh, bolted screws. There we go. Okay. In which case, let's use that. Because that's already going to have the belt sort of set up. So, where was it? It was bolted screw, wasn't it? So, if we... Go one... I need some reinforced iron plates I don't need the last one but it's still just going to be easier for me to do it this way round right where are those bolted plates there we go Okay. Uh, and then there we go. Cool. And then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh. Take this one down. Because we don't need this end bit here. Right, I know I'm doing this the long way around, but, you know, it is what it is. Right, so, then we can just hook up these. Uh, right, there we go. that okay so then if we have a merger here we can then be you in like this you Like so. And you. Oh, shy of iron plates. Okay. Let's go grab those then. Right, okay. So close, we could almost feel it. There we go. So, let's get this uh, brought round. Right, so you're going in there like that. Right. So that's them off and on their way. 
they are making their way all the way to the end, which is good. I mean, they think they're making reinforced screws, but you know what? You really aren't. Let's start these filling up, shall we? So, you are making... Assembly Director Systems. I mean, I need to bring power into these guys, but... That's academic. Oh, wow. Why have I... I've lost the ability to... There we go. Power lines. Uh, yeah. So what I can do is I can drag you there. There and there. Bang. Power. Yep. So that's power for these guys. And then I just need to join them up. Like that. Cool. So that's power for everything. So, next episode, we are going to be getting over the supercomputers, which are just over there. So that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Running all of this to the space elevator, and then the honest answer is I don't know. So do let me know in the comments what do you want to see happen. Um, because I'm, I'm going to need some advice on what you guys want to see next. So, as usual, likes, comments, subscriptions. They will help the channel grow. They help get out in front of other people. So thank you very much to those of you that do that. Thank you very much to my patrons and YouTube channel members. Your support is very much appreciated. Please don't forget that as a supporter, you do gain access to the save files for any of the open world games I'm currently playing, including this one. So you can explore this world on your own. But other than that, thank you all very much for joining me today. I hope you have a great day. And I will catch you all next time.